We got Veggie Man here. Plant-based diet having that. Shut ass. up. Get out of here. How about put me on blast like that? I'm not gonna put Just you on blast. some nuts on the internet. <laughs> Don't Google if any eats nuts on the internet. <laughs> oh man, I'm so bummed. Scotto managed to get sick on the one day we bring out a car that's pretty much made for him to enjoy. It really, really genuinely is. This is the most Scotto car I personally think that we've ever had here in the burn yard. I mean, I think it hits a little all of us at home. This is literally my first car, a black Mark III GTI. But it wasn't as cool as this. Guys. Hey, how's it going? What up? Hey. Who Solid high fivers. Who are you guys? This is uh my Volkswagen. What's your name? Mike. Mike. Yeah. Whoop. Alex. Alex. Tell us a little bit about this uh this here Mark III Volkswagen. Well, this guy built the whole thing from the ground up in three months. Yeah. Three months. Three months from shell to first event. And by first event, what do you mean? What do you mean by first, first event? event? So, I work for ECS Tuning. Okay. Uh, I develop parts for both the ECS and Turner brands. You know, we're doing a little YouTube series, a you know, summer drift series, what we call it. So we just built five different cars and kind of showed you from mild to wild and what it's like getting into drifting. Ah, so this so. is dope. Because I've seen this car on the internet, but only from the outside. So I actually don't know anything about it. But this is a real, real drive Mark III Golf, yes. right? Yeah. I was going to cool. say, when you say drift event, and Mark III Golf in the same line. So let's get right into under the hood because I don't know what engine you have in it. I want to know more about the drivetrain. Let's see this thing. What Woo! the? Okay, this is now. What I, now I remember hearing about this car. So this is a BMW V8. Yes, yeah, the M62, the 44 non Venus. So it's out of like a 98 540. Okay. 98 540. What type of power does that make? Uh, on our dyno, it did 275 wheel. Okay. So it's okay. Why the M62, not the S62? Because I had this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's honestly the best reason. Those yeah. are always the best it's reasons ever. Kind of just a hodgepodge of like parts that were sitting okay. around. So. Okay. Honestly, it looks kind of at home in here. I mean, I know you guys have done some chopping. Yeah, it's pretty much Some placement and everything. Strut towers. Yeah, so it's, there's a lot to look at here. So are these Mark III strut towers, or did you cut it at the firewall? Uh, they are the towers. I plated them and moved them up a little bit. Makes the car a little lower. Okay. Are you still running like Mark III style front suspension and stuff? The or what is it? The coil movers are. They're like Bilstein uh -huh. for an actual Mark III. And the knuckles are VR knuckles that have been cut just for more angle. Then it's just custom control arms, subframe. It's got an S13 steering rack. So the front knuckles work even though they don't have like an axle holding the bearing and There's everything an together? I, I took the little cup, you can kind of see it in there. Oh, so it has like a... It does, like just to hold the bearings together. Nah, okay, cool. But, well, that's simple. Good sound, Good sound. All right. That's quite a bit of angle. All right, you can kill it. So this is actually the end of a CV axle because you bolt that stuff together and it actually holds the bearings in place in the hub. Super cool. Obviously it doesn't look like a Mark III subframe anymore. No. It's all custom made. Yeah, it's all just two. Cool. And then what uh, What did we do driveline wise? What do we got? Transmission, what so rear end is in it? How is the rear end in it? It's the BMW six speed that would have been behind uh, this engine in 540. Nice. And then just a custom drive shaft. It's got a 488 out of an Explorer in the back. The solid axle. It's a solid axle? Solid axle. Oh, so you stay true to Volkswagens. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's four links. I played with the, the link geometry quite a bit to try to get it to work nice. Look at how clean the, sh the shifter comes through the tunnel. Whoa. That's so nice. Kept the dash. And a little door panel you guys here. That's super clean, actually. I like that. And then you got your brake bias right next to you. Dude, that's yep. so nice. What gauges are those? Are those Defees? Pro Sport. Oh, okay. I like how your sunroof delete's got a little bit of, uh, what is that, quilted yeah. in it. That's it's nice. Tipping die in the B roller. So oh, it's in the it's door, in too. Look at that. Door. You don't have a radiator up front? No, good radiator. What cooler is up front? Uh, I've got an oil cooler and a power steering cooler. Oh, okay. And then your radiator's out back? Yep. All right. Cool. We got two big fans on either quarter. 
blowing air through a Jeep XJ radiator, actually. Wow, okay. So. It's really nice, like, duct work and stuff. Dude, can the hatch open? Yep. Oh, wait, this is nice. Yeah, I was just gonna say that all the cuts in the hatch, this reminds me of, like, a European rallycross car. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. It's nice, you can tell it's a Mark III, it's got some of the hatch rust. Oh yeah. It's gotta have some of the hatch rust. You know what we call that? We call that active, <laughs> active lightweight. <laughs> so you got the fuel cell back here. Yep, this guy comes out. And then what, do you got some pusher fans in the front or? Just the ones in the corner, so they're pushing through. You can peek through the vent and see them just kind of hanging out. Oh wow, okay. You guys fi figured out that the fan works better at the vent rather than? It was just easier to mount it. I think they do work a little better pulling, but okay. just, you know, packaging wise, I ended up cool. putting them there. Got the Remus exhaust classic. Oh, just my, yo, my first Mark, my first car, the Mark III GTI had a Remus exhaust. Of course it did. Oh. Of course <laughs> right it, in the field. period correct. It's so clean. It, it yeah, feels it's like nice. it's a great combo of homebrew DIY, but at the same time, like super clean work and nice. I like that. So you said hey, you this got- is a, This is a top high end of homebrew DIY, man. That tin work is pretty tight. It is, it is. Like, look at this, look at this bend. I think I'm trying to say that, that it's that not, bend. it's not a pretentious build. Yeah, it's not. This is like an approachable, like you would go with this car to a bar, slam a couple <laughs> beers and maybe get in a fight type of car. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Like not like have a wine soiree or anything. <laughs> So you said you got Bilstein fronts and uh, what's on the rear? Bilstein rears, just a normal, you know, PSS nines for a Mark III GTI. Oh, cool! So you made the mounting points work on the axle and everything, yep. so you yeah, still have the GTI there. suspension. Okay. It's got a trailer hitch. It does have a trailer hitch. What? Why? Because I, I needed a jack point because the wheels won't come uh, okay. off. Okay. Pick it up by the axle. Look at this! Right look, now, at this. look at this! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Uh, I wanted to see what a friggin' Ford 88 looks like. Yeah, of the course. Back of a GTI. And it, it, it's crazy. It looks right at home in there. Do you know how much power it makes? Uh, 275 wheel, 315 torque. Oh wow, that's pretty good. It's not bad. What are we running for tires on here? And the uh, Kaiser sort of stickies. Yeah, I like. Is this your? This is your actual ride height? Yes. This is something that Hurt would approve. Yeah, self-clearancing. Yeah, self-clearance, self-lightening, self-fluid changing, <laughs> self-clearancing. The this Mark III GTI of the future. Is this the, is this the Ronco GTI? <laughs> Set it and forget it. If you followed all the instructional material, you just... Set it and forget it. Yeah, the mono oh, wiper. Oh, DTM. Has to, the must-have. Oh, must have. the must-have. It's a must-have. <sighs> well, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for it. My body is ready. I'm ready for it. <laughs> all right. Let's see this thing yeah. rip. I right, give her the beans. <laughs> dude, dude, my favorite thing, honestly, my favorite thing, you're right. This thing sounds like it has 500 horsepower. Right. And it makes like, what, 300? Yeah. 
That's amazing. Dude, this thing looks like a We should get the palm line in this thing again. Yeah. You gotta do some palm line in this thing. Do some donuts around that tree. Okay, I'll jump in. about this car is because it's so like there's nothing over the rear wheels I kept thinking he was gonna like completely catch a curb yeah he would just like miss it one of them you what? came like a quarter inch from the curb it was sick that was some nice driving real quick something, something we forgot to mention let's go around with everybody let's go around the back of this car right here. you failed to mention the plate Ohio <laughs> just pulled this thing out from Ohio just to come here to no the were you at SEMA or something no you literally came out here for this yeah are we even gonna give you a t-shirt or something? I would hope, I don't know. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Chris, damn, I love the dedication. That's sick. That's so sick. Damn, Dude, so sick. Well, shit, man. You built yourself one hell of a car. Thank you. That's sick. Good job, guys. Good I mean, there's really only one thing left to do. Just one thing. Get the rap! Snap. You have to earn your blowout. I have to blow my blowout. Oh. Look how fresh it's still. Look at that. Nothing right. sticks to it. it. 